in their um, defensive packages. And so he came did a nice job with it. You know, and for a team that obviously hadn't won uh, in a few weeks, uh, is the hope that this kind of game in this kind of fourth quarter can serve as a confidence boost for you guys? Yeah, we just got to keep working. Um, you know, just take it one week at a time. So, you know, I don't think the team lacks confidence. So we have to just coach better, play better. You know, let's keep keep working and keep grinding. I think we'll have better results. NFL Total Access taking you back to Monday night here. The Patriots, losers of four straight for the first time since 2 trying to avoid their first five-game losing streak in some 25 years. But Joe Flacco into the first half here, out to give the Jets their first win of the season. Boy, with plays like this, you thought it might happen. Just a 6% completion probability according to next-gen stats. Flacco to Jamison Crowder, 10-point lead for the Jets to half. Let's go to the fourth quarter. Patriots down a touchdown. Third and goal, Cam Newton's second rushing touchdown of the day, tying things up with the extra point. And Nick Folk, a former Jet, as time expired from 51 yards out for the win. Yes. Patriots stop the skin, getting their third win of the season and handing the Jets an 0-9 start to the season. But both of these teams looking up at the Buffalo Bills at the top of the AFC East right now. And the Dolphins, 2-0 under Tua Tungabailoa, not too far behind. As for the Jets, bottom of the division, bottom of the NFL right now, Joe Flacco, their quarterback tonight, despite an inspired performance on offense, addressing the 0-9 start to the season. Right now, we're, you know, we're 0-9, we're so we're dealing with, you know, a, a lot of those right now, and this is just going to be something that adds to it. Um, I think we've done a really good job during the week throughout all of this uh, of keeping our heads up and taking it one day at a time. Uh, so I just, you know, it's going to be the job of the coaches and a few guys on this team to make sure that we continue to have that mindset moving forward. Um, as tough as that might be, uh, you know, there's seven weeks uh, left in the National Football League season. So if, if you don't come to work and ready to go, um, this league will make that very long and very tough for you to survive. So we got we have to keep our heads up and, and, and play this thing out the, the only way we know how. All right, another tough loss here for the Jets. Uh, as Joe Flacco addressed there, Baldy, an 0-9 start to the season. Look, anytime you start piling up the losses like this, the questions start coming about the job security. And to be frank, Adam Gase has been dealing with it for the last Two months, it's felt like. Where do you put his job security here after this kind of loss, Baldy? Well, it's definitely in jeopardy. I mean, it was good. It was a great showing tonight. I mean, like Joe said, uh, you can hold your heads up about, you know, how they performed tonight and how they competed. And it was good to see, you know, a healthy wide receiving core to help Joe out like that. But anytime you're 0-9, uh, it's more the whispers. Uh, there, there's some dilemmas there. I mean, it's up to Woody and Chris Johnson, the owners, to probably make those decisions. But Joe Douglas, that was brought in by the general manager who was brought in uh, by Adam Gase. Uh, you know, it's very difficult for Joe to turn around and give the pink slip to Adam Gase after he got Joe Douglas the job, helped him get the job anyways. And so, you know, those are some of the parameters that are out there. But, you know, you're looking, if they make a decision with Sam Darnold, if they move on from Sam and they get an opportunity to draft one of those quarterbacks, do you want a new coach to kind of unite with them yeah. the way say cliff kingsbury and kyler murray has you probably do want to start fresh with a new guy if you if you go in that direction and, and nobody knows what they're going to do yet with sam because he just hasn't been healthy and he hasn't had a good team around him yet baldy i i, I mean i'm scratching my head here because adam gase was brought into new york because he was supposed to be this quarterback guru because he was going to be the one to get sam Darnold to turn a corner he was supposed to be the quarterback, uh, the coach that was supposed to bring his, you know, his creative offense to New York. And when he was in Miami for the three years that he was there, his offense didn't finish any higher than 24th. And so they're at the bottom of the league in, in every major category right now. This offense has never shown any life. It's never shown any creativity. It's always been a bad situation. So I don't, I don't understand why people feel like Adam Gase deserves to stay when uh, any other coach who is being judged by his record 
and he's 0 and 9. It doesn't seem like this team is going to get any better. So I'm like, yeah, his, his thing should be in jeopardy. I mean, uh, we just haven't seen it. You know, we, they make excuse after excuse. We 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 heard and and seen the sort of turmoil in the all in the um, in the locker room. You know, Jamal Adams, the thing with Lev Bell. It's just been an ongoing drama in New York. And I don't see how it gets any better. So I think they have to move on from Adam Gates in order to get this team to the, to at least show some life and uh, in the next couple of years. Yeah, you know, look, part of the question will continue about Sam Darnold, whether Adam Gase is there or not. The, the fact is, he's, he made some progress. The end of last season, they won six of eight games, largely because of Sam Darnold's improved performance on his return to the lineup. We just haven't seen it translate from last season to this season. Now for the Patriots here, TD, third win of the year. They are still way back in the AFC East standings, but, but what does this win do for them tonight as they go forward and try to salvage this season? Rhett, I would love to say that it, it's a, it, it breathes life into them. I said last week they were done. <laughs> so oh. They beat the Jets. Does so one win they, change anything? <laughs> right, I get your point. It's not, it's not going to change anything, you know, not, not in my, uh, my, my, my view, and especially looking at what the Bills are doing and the Dolphins. I just don't think the Patriots can sustain this type of offense and performance on a week-to-week -week basis. It was good tonight. They were, you know, pretty good at protecting the football. Cam did his thing. But I think they're a long shot to making a postseason and making any damage or doing any damage in the, in the AFC East. TD, I mean, it's just the eye test. I mean, when I watch the Buffalo Bills play, when I watch the Miami Dolphins play since December of last year, I see an improved team. I see a well-coached team by Brian Flores. In Miami, I see a very well-coached team by Sean McDermott in Buffalo, and they're doing it in the way that you want to do it. I mean, they drafted Josh, uh, uh, Josh Allen, and all they've done is build around him. I mean, they surround him with really good players right now, two good young running backs, you know, uh, just a bevy of wide receivers. Uh, they keep building this defense up. Uh, when you look at Miami, they get rid of Laramie Tunsil, and they got rid of, you know, all these assets, and they, they started building through the draft, and you're seeing all these – Rookies and young guys really start to flourish in Miami right now. And they look like teams, when you watch them play, that those teams are on.